Hi everyone, Miro here with some more side adventures. This one, we're leveling our rogue. Uh, we're going to be doing the rogue quest now. This is, I'm quite a bit higher level for it, but uh, yeah. The last time we dealt with some pirates who, you know, followed us back to the base and then were immediately murdered within this place, uh, with the exception of the captain who was strung up in town square. Alright, none of these are going to be better. A fine evening to you, Miro. And a fine evening it is for a spot of work, wouldn't you agree? This time around, it's seen some eager buccaneers scampered aboard a local merchantman and made off with a shipment of muskets. Now, seeing as it ain't lawful to cloy from a limpson vessel to begin with, the Yellow Jackets fell upon them daft coves before their boots was even dry. Aye, they caught the pirates right there on the dock, but the stolen boomsticks were nowhere to be found. Fenced in a longboat deal, I'm thinking. That's when our guild was officially contracted to retrieve the goods, which weren't really needful, but the code would have had us on the job anyway. You don't bite the purses of your fellow Lamentsons and all that. So, this is your assignment, me natty lass. Find out whom them weapons went and bite that shipment back. Seeing as the cutters has hit the merchantmen are already rotten in irons, we needn't rush in with your stabbers or stabbing. I want this job handled quick and quiet, and I have the perfect partner to show you how it's done. This here is Vekeb the Stray. Ain't no rogue, no other rogue that can match her in the arts of Skulkin. Pleasure. There's some problem, Vekeb. You seem a bit out of sorts. I'm bloody starving. I have one of them finger sandwiches set aside, you know? Those egg-filled tasties they make at the Bismarck? When I got back from the work, it was bloody gone. Uh-oh, that was Vekeb's. Thought it was Underfoot's. <laughs> Well, you just head out on the job, and I'll see if I can't turn up the missing sandwich by the time you return. All right, Jack. Ah, one of the more uh, little more detail you should know. Them muskets were meant for the Yellow Jackets Armory, so once all is bob, you can hand the goods over to one of their, their calls directly. The dude stole from his fellow, uh, his fellow rogue. He he broke the code. We can start whenever you're ready, Mira. I have a colleague keeping a uh, waddle for our aunt that might help us, so I suggest you have a few words with her first. You'll find her at the Highland po posing as a fishmonger. What the fuck? Okay, they are in. Okay, they're at the upper levels. So, Mini Cat, what are you doing in there? Mira? Hey, right, whatever. You do whatever you want, cat. You're your own cat. She's down here being mini. I see you being mini. What are you doing? Hi. Alright. Look at that savage in there. Yes, you guys did just hear the uh, gold saucer theme from FF7. Hello there, miss. We've carp and trout, lobster and shrimp, but I hear you tell you've been looking for a special breed of fish, the long, skinny kind. What's so bark it put a bloke on his ass? We don't sell that kind here, but you might try them foreign merchants. What was they called again? Ah, the Traders of Edge. They ail from the South Sea Isles, and are known for dealing with all types of nasty splitters and cutters. I should warn you, these folks ain't one for questioning the source of their merchandise. In fact, they seem more than happy to pay for goods that came from below decks, so to speak. But if you're still keen to get your hands on those rare fish, then you'd best hurry. The edge merchant that what's visiting Limsa is looking to load up and leave the city of Forlong. This how he means to transport his goods remains a mystery, though. What with all the iron blades he's got nursing his operation, it's, it makes it odd for a girl to get close to eyeball the competition, it does. I'll be sure to keep an eye peeled on your behalf, but I might be as you can learn a little more from the folk around town. Mini cat. Mm. 
There we can. What are you doing up here? Come here, what are you doing? Raiders of Edge, eh? Well, if one of their merchants is staying in the city, then someone will know something to point us in the right direction. The trick is listening without being seen. You'd be surprised at how culls will cackle when they think no one else is about. We'll focus on places that let's see plenty of traffic. You can have the Bismarck, the Ferry Docks, and East Hawker's Alley. I'll try my luck at a few other spots and meet you in front of the guild when I'm done. Remember, keep hidden, keep quiet, and keep your waddles open. The fuck are waddles? Most of the time when the NPCs in the speak, it just sounds like they're speaking to be speaking. They're not, not actually saying anything about it. Kinda like Pia, man. I love that uh, sound of leather. Bending, increasing. Diving Dub appears distressed over some matter. Approach your wall close by your hide ability and attempt to eavesdrop on her grumbling. Diving Dumb Dove is grumbling in discontent. Sneer on the customer's face. Does he think I can command the skillet to cook more swiftly just to meet his pressing departure schedule? I don't know how things are done in the South Seas, but here in Limsa Lamenza, folk appreciate the fine cuisine cannot be rushed. Come now, Dove. You must not speak ill of the patrons. Now that was... what was next on my list? Ah, another finger sandwich for the dutiful sisters. Someone there must be rather fond of eggs. In the South Seas, they eat raw bread. So like uncooked bread, just 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 the dough. <laughs> Unfortunate, I guess. All right, we're supposed to go to Hawker's Alley and one other place. Oh, where the picture is. You have redeemed another crab's treasure. It is on the list, so good say. The person's name is Zeratul. Garok was speaking in low but lively tone to a nearby customer. A portrait more cloaked in your hide ability to attempt to eavesdrop on the extortations. Garok was hawking his wares to a customer. You have quite an eye for quality, sir! We've a splendid range of produce from every corner of your yard, but one simply cannot visit Limsil Mince without sampling some of the local specialties. Would you care for some freshly squeezed Lanasi and orange juice? Or perhaps our famed salt cod is more to your taste? Girl continues to espouse the virtues of his merchandise, but his impassioned urgings appear to have little relevance to your assignment. Alright, so we listen to one person in Hawker's Alley, so that clearly is more than enough information that we need. No Fabalo, thank you for asking. I'm just gonna hide right in front of her. Riri, uh, Riri, Nasu, Riri Nasu is mumbling anxiously to himself. Curse my sense of duty. Would that I had stayed at the wench for that extra pint instead of returning early. I didn't ask to see anyone being bribed. Certainly not my relief pilot. I wonder what that merchant was about, smuggling most likely. Should I report this to the Yellow Jackets? What if I'm being watched? I could end up face down in the harbor. Well, you are being watched. Welcome back, Nero. I hope your skulking went well. You might be an angel of death with the daggers, Dove, but any rogue that shuns the shadows is heading for an early grave. A sneaky mark can nose about without risking a scrap or slip herself into the best position to ambush a mark. Once they've seen you, though, your rum fun is done. 
Hiding is part of concealment and part distractions, and you won't be disappearing on a cove what already knows you're there. Alright, I'm done prattling. What do you manage to learn about our musket buying merchant friend? Slipping coin to a ferry pilot, was he? And by what you heard from the chef at the Bismarck, this trader means the hop the twig and soon. That matches with my own findings. He's vacated his rooms at the inn and paid his dues in full. Being a merchant, we can be sure he won't be leaving without his merchandise, so here's the plan. We wait for him to stack his goods on the pyre, and you ghost in and grab you them firearms. I'm hoping we can get the job done quiet and under cover of Darksmen's, but it never hurts to be prepared for the worst. Sounds like he's got a small army of Celsos on the payroll. But look, this aura tells us it's not going to go well. The mark should be along any moment, Miro. Have you got your skulking boots on? Report it to PMX so she can shit in that man's hat. Exactly. Spotted the mark at the end of the pier. Sneak over there and lighten his load. Why don't you do it? You're supposed to be the best skulker there is. Not like I'm not clearly visible now. You! You're not supposed to be here! I thought I ordered my hirelings to keep this jetty clear. Hmm? One, two, three. There's one missing. My crate of muskets is gone! Why am I smiling like that? I'm still there. Thief! Stop her! You useless sluggards, what am I paying you for? <laughs> what? That man was a lollipop, you could have kicked him into the harbor. Well, we found out earlier that Goo Boo's eat, uh... That goo boos eat uh, lollipops. Thieves! Scoundrels! A bonus to the one who brings me their hides! Dude, this lollipop is tougher than any of the others we just killed. Sleep past any other squads on your way and get them goods to the yellow jackets. I actually don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. I imagine it's that way because there's higher bow there. Well, this is an interesting setup that they have. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. We're fine now. Dude, beat Blalafell? I mean, he might. But it's Goo Boots. But that's in the lore now. Dude, beats Blalafells. Aye, oh, these are our stolen muskets. The Quartermaster will be pleased. We did it, team. Look at that. Okay. Moving on up.
You're not supposed to step on the cracks, if you guys recall. Hey, okay. Ken. That turned very didn't it, Dove? Once you reach the yellow jacket, though, the merchant called off his blades. Wise enough to cut his losses, I'll give him that. I'll say we're done here. Let's head inside and tell Jack the Benny news. I heard the sounds of fighting coming from outside, and now I've whittled the cons of it. I thought we were aiming for subtle on this job. That many swans, was there? But you got the yellow jackets what they wanted, so all's well that ends well, eh? You're on your way to becoming a first-class rogue, Miro. Alright, the job didn't unfold exactly as planned, but you do see the value of keeping out of sight. Skulkin might seem slow, but it can save you time, and a fair amount of bleeding in the long run. And speaking of unexpected developments, I've had a bit of bad news for you, Vakab. I searched high and low, but it seems some unprincipled cove has yaffled your sandwich. There were naught but crumbs to be found. My, no, my sandwich! It was a Bismarck special! Do you know how much I was looking forward to that meal? My belly's about to cave in on itself. There's a tragedy of the highest order, love. And you know I can't be bad to see me rogues in such distress. But I gave Underfoot a special assignment. He should be back any moment now. With a freshly made Bismarck special finger sandwich. You did that for me? You're not japing with me, are you, Jack? This ain't no japing matter. Tis a guildmaster's responsibility to see that all his coves and morts are at their best for the job. Ah, uh, Jack, there you are. I've got that sandwich you ordered. And didn't the chef give me a waddle full when I said I was in a hurry? Maybe next time you think could think twice before you yawful a fellow rogue sup. Oh, bollocks. Jack, did you eat my supper? Now, now, lass, let's not be hasty. There's a fresh new sandwich right here for you. No harm done, eh? You've cloyed something that what belonged to me, Jack, and I can't ignore the code. <laughs> yeah, yes, the code. We mustn't ignore the code. You're having a laugh, aren't you, lass? Lass? That might be the swiftest string up I've ever seen. A punishment to fit the crime? Take a good long look, Mira. The code exists to preserve peace in Limsa. To keep the alleys from running with red with blood, the city's me home, and I'll dra draw my daggers on any cove fool enough to threaten that peace. A pointed lesson. Let's head inside, eh? Your sandwich will get cold. Hey! Do you mean to leave me here all night? At least you can give me a grand view of the arbor. God's pissed. These ropes are tight. And now we find ourselves indebted to the Rogues Guild. The Rogues Guild! Hmm, the impropriety of it all. Would that I would see them occupying a cell next to the thieving pirates. Well, Jack just got strung up. Which is kind of funny, considering he was the head of the guild. Does that mean he's no longer the head of the guild, and that Vakab is now the head of the guild? Is that how that works? Seems he's fine. No! Oh, them ropes will leave chafe marks while bleeding weak. I may have wriggled myself free, but that's the last time I let my belly do the thing. And, and just think, Vakab strung me up over an egg sandwich. Those coves what well and truly stomp on the code get it far worse. Keep up your training, lass, and you'll soon be handing out rogue justice yourself. Alright. Ah, Miro. Just the mort I was hoping to see. We have some nasty trouble brewing. The client's on his way, so sit and tight and pay attention. I'm calling Underfoot and Astray in on this as well. It'll be a right little rogue family reunion. I'd say yes. Jack, the client's arrived.
Our guest here from the Maelstrom Command with confidential orders from the Admiral herself. So you know this won't be a simple job. I'm afraid your guildmaster speaks true. Truly. T'was several nights ago when an emaciated man stumbled into our, one of our camps seeking aid. Upon questioning the poor fellow, we discovered that he had narrowly escaped a life of slavery. He claimed that pirates had raided his village, abducted him and many others to sell on a black market on au auction block. We dispatched a patrol to confirm the tale and found the village almost completely destroyed. It was a meager settlement without so much as a guardhouse. Thus did its unkind fate escape our notice until now. You think these pirates never heard of code? Diligent, honest culls and dipping their wicks in the slave trade? They're heading right way for a good stabbing. Aye, though it ain't set down in so many uh, wids, the code's notoriously unforgiving against those who raise weapons against the weak. After all, the first pirates in these parts were culls what was fleeing oppression in the northern seas. Ignore your history and you risk becoming what, was, what it was you hated most. So, you have a mark for us then? That we do. From the descriptions given to us by the escaped villager, we've determined that these lawbreakers are members of the Jolly Merchants, a pirate crew in possession of an official pri privateering license. It would appear, however, that privateering has only been not but a screen behind which to hide their illicit activities. One can only imagine how many other limps and civilians have fallen prey to these wicked slavers. And we've let it happen right under our very noses. Naturally, the Admiral desires a swift resolution to this ignominy. But merely tracking down those poor souls would have already been sold to is proving heavily taxing to our allocated resources. We could throw more sources at the problem, but that runs the risk of drawing the small folks attention and inciting undue panic. Thus do we come to the Rogues Guild for help. We ask that you eliminate the Jolly Merchants and liberate the villagers presently in their company, or custody, and that you do so with the utmost discretion. Consider it done. Uh, when those nasty coals will feel our short blades pricking into their backs, they'll enjoy but a brief moment of regret before the code is rightfully enforced. Alright, let's get to work. I'll be going after the Jolly Merchants myself. Underfoot Vakeb, you two lend your skills to the Maelstrom's investigation and see what you can waddle about the coals uh, what well, have already been sold. Mira, you're coming with me. I think you're ready for the next step of your education. Jeremy, do you think William's ready for the next step of his education? Shall we get to these slaving cutthroats, then? Our client tells me that the Jolly Merchantmen set sail from Aleport a few bells ago. Oh, hi. They might even be aboard an Imperial ship or two. That's just some mummery they're putting on to amuse the Admiral's swads. I reckon the rest of the crew would be back on land, looking to snap the shackles on a fresh herd of a chattel. And just to prove me three right, one of them jolly bastards got himself spotted creeping about the Ruffmans in Lower Lanasia. There's a Bene Cove over at the Morby Dry Docks by the name of Swarson, and I likely know the full story. He's more of a shipwright than a rogue these days, but he keeps his glazes keen for the guild. Head over and have yourself a prattle, and I'll join you soon, like. Do you find yourself often heading over to have a prattle? Do you keep your waddles about when speaking with low-life coves? That man has a motorcycle. Miss Swarson. Oi, I know who you, what you are. What can old Swarson do for you? Hunting down jolly merchant slavers? Ah, well that explains a few things. I was keeping an eye on the bustle about the dry docks, you see, when I spied an odd trio off in the distance. This rough looking sod, one of your pirates, I'd wager, was prodding along another broke, and this poor skinny lass. I've never seen whipped curds less miserable than the two being herded. Last I saw, they were heading south. If that, if what you're saying about this slavery business is true, then that jolly merchant's not going to walk his charges all the way to the market. No, he will likely use a boat waiting for him. And if I were a slaver headed south, my vessel would be hidden somewhere along the Salt Strand. That doesn't leave you much time. You said Jack was on his way, yes? You best go on ahead. I'll point him in the right direction when he gets here. Jeremy, when was the last time you walked along the Salt Strand? Hey, 
feel like it's Padfoot. Hey, look, it's a Megalo Crab. Good job, Jack. Swarson came through for us, eh? Now, what do we got here? This one looks like a charmer. Sodden move, I told you. Me peg leg grandma hobbles quicker than you, miserable sacks of shite. Or well, maybe you need another thrashing, is that it? You already forgot what happens when you try me generous patience. Uh, I'm sorry, please, no more beatings. We walked as fast as we could. But we need water, food. Then get in the boat and shut your traps. You'll get fed when we reach the other side. The other side? Where are you taking us? Are you challenging me? You're just plain daft. I told you to get your, keep your bleeding mouth shut. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Leviathan's scaly arse. She's weeping again. Listen, we're headed to Aleport, all right? That's where me and me shipmates gather to take stock of the merchandise and decide what gets sold where. You see, some buyers want only lads, while others to, is looking for lasses. As long as we keep rich bastards happy, we make more coin than we ever did scrape in the Empire's war galleys. Not that you care about that, I suppose. What matters to you is that you'll be loaded onto the jolly merchantman, sailed off to God knows where, and Limsel be a distant memory. So, if I was you, I'd fill the empty belly with one last big gob full of sweet Lanassian sea breeze. <laughs> I'm just sore tempted to put a blade twixt his eyes here now, but that won't get the job done. No, we'll need to let him guide us to his mates in Aleport, and then we'll mill the whole bloody lot of them. The jolly merchants will get their due, don't you worry about that. They've gone. We best hurry to Aleport. Unless you have a quicker way, there's a ferry what leaves from Candlekeep K. Key. I'll meet you across the water, lass. Okay, you take the ferry, I'll teleport there, because what I do. Guys, and the electric is in the chat. Catch it. Don't let back this favorite Pokemon get away. Jeremy, are you one of the Jolly Merchant men? Also, I think it's snowing here. That's just wind. Hey there, Jack. Miro. That jolly merchant cove, still with his captives, seems they've taken a room under an alias. <laughs> Hiding their operation in plain sight. Bold as brass eye, but it's an old slaver's trick. See, even if some call recognizes the merchandise, only a single hand dealer gets boned. The rest of the crew just whistles, all innocent like, while their mate is marched off to the cr cr cry cockles. And you can bet they've threatened bloody murder for any prisoner, what raises a hue and cry. Taste now, lass. We'll just wait until we are sure what that all these black guards will uh, arrive. Meanwhile, you best shot bring your stabbers. We have a busy night ahead of us. Oh, here we go. Ready for the job, then? Once the jolly merchants are all here, we'll ambush the sods and set the captives free. Alright. So we get to go murder a bunch of dudes. This ought to be long enough. We'll have to hope there ain't any stragglers. Listen closely now, lass. The merchants are disguised as plain old ventures, and have settled themselves in three separate rooms here in Aleport. How do we whittle which coves are the merchants? Easy. Take a look at the daddles uh, of that bing a ghost swilling cull over yonder. He's wearing lavender gloves, the exact same type that the nasty saw at the salt strand head on. That'll be how they find each other in a cloud. Of course, it's also how I wheeled where each of the bastards was staying. 
Just snilts the hopeless glazes of the company they keep, and you can be sure you found your mark. So, here's the job all laid out for you. We hit all three common rooms, mill the merchants quick and dirty-like, and get those captives uh, their bleeding lives back. Alright? Oi! The storeroom's been forced open! Some thieving sod's been at the ale! Well, they can't have gotten far. Better get the lads and do a sweep of the port. Ugh, what's that merchant call? Gulp and pilfered ale? You'd think they'd be doing their best not to draw attention to themselves. All things considered, bloody oafs. And now we've got a swarm of yellow jackets buzzing about looking for blood. They spot us wandering around the darksmiths. I have a feeling they'll ask us first and ask questions later. It'd be best then if patrols never ever even knew we were here. We'll slip, in, slip as sneaky as we can into each of the common rooms and use them telltale lavender gloves to identify our marks. There's innocent calls in there as well, mine, so let's try not to stab it, and any as don't deserve it, eh? Hmm, I'm thinking we should head out one at a time to better avoid them, Yellow Jackets. So I'll let you take the lead. After you, Mira. Probably should have paused. Our marks are behind the doors up ahead. Don't let them Yellow Jackets see you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Arrow knocking adventurer. Sword brandishing adventurer. Do you have lavender gloves on? I can't actually see your hand. He does not. She be sleeping. I'm surprised none of these people heard me murdered on given how loud we were. Probably should have looked before I walked through here, but. This woman is clearly watching us. You can easily see out of the corner of her eye me about to murder this dude. Nobody gives a shit. Read the Lala Bell. I'm free? This is the last door. Yeah, lavender glove bitch right here. Thank you! Thank you! These are the two that we saw in the... Three? I think they are the ones I saw out there. It looks to be the last of them, and you didn't even need my help. Back into the shadows, lass. Hands off the merchandise! No one cuts into our profits. Oh, love a good scrap! Where'd these go, Sprinklum? Get the stab in, Mira! Oh. 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 Oh.
Dude, Jack does not give any fucks. He just stands in the AoE. Not a bad night, bad night's work, eh, Miro? The maelstrom will all be and be taking care of them poor culls we freed, and I've made sure none of the merchants we downed are likely to get up again. As for the jolly merchantman, well, her crew can expect a visit from the admiral's finest galleys. It won't be for tea and grumpets on the poop deck. Fright me, Nelly lass. Our part of this is done. Time to head back to the sisters. Excuse me, are you the ones who freed us? Why? Was there something else you would... We could do for you, miss. The maelstrom swaz will take you home, if that's what you're worried about. Oh no, I know. I just wanted to... Thank you. If I may, there was one other thing I wish to tell you. Moments before you rescued me, that dreadful pirate was muttering into his cups. There was something about another raiding party that, you ha that hadn't made it back yet. I beg your pardon? It seems they've been hunting for slaves in Western Lanasia, and being so close to Aleport, I have to assume they were out rounding up chattel until the last bell. I couldn't help. I couldn't bear the thought of anyone else suffering as I have. Please, is there not you can do? There certainly is, miss. You just get yourself home and leave uh, this stray pack of jackals to us. I will pray for your success. Thank you again. <laughs> so much for saving a victory pint. I'll send word of this development to Underfoot and the stray. We've some well-earned trade uh, for the last of these jolly merchants. By the by, how's your throwing arm, Miro? I think it's time I, I learned you how to, th to fling a proper blade. When you're in the wild, wide open ruffmans, you need to sting a uh, coat from a distance. I'm sure a canny lass like yourself will figure out all sorts of uses for a well-thrown dagger. Just keep in mind for when we hunt down the rest of them slavers. All right, we learned dagger throw. This is an important skill. So the next quest will teach us Mug, but we're not going to be doing that right now, unfortunately. As we are only on quest level 15, really? Interesting. Anyway. So guys, that is going to be it for today's stream. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Meryl gives us a wave. <laughs>